Kathy Griffin. She revealed her battle with lung cancer, warning that even non-smokers can be at risk. She is recovering this morning from surgery. The doctors say it went well. Dr. Jen Ashton standing by to discuss all this. First, here's Juju Chang's exclusive interview with Griffin. Here's the incomparable Kathy Griffin! Controversial comedian Kathy Griffin. Lindsay Lohan, Mel Gibson, Jersey Shore, Real Housewives, everybody's coming down tonight! Known for her in-your-face comedy, revealing a frightening diagnosis on Instagram Monday, writing, I've got to tell you guys something, I have cancer. I'm about to go into surgery to have half my left lung removed. Yes, I have lung cancer even though I've never smoked. I was definitely in shock. I'm still a little bit in shock. Speaking exclusively to ABC News, the 60-year-old former fashion police star who recently opened up about her struggle with addiction says sobriety may have saved her life in more ways than one. There's no more Oxy, there's no more Vicodin. And so I was like, do I have arthritis? My joints are hurting. And so I went and I had a bunch of tests. Yeah, I just found out that it's cancer, lung cancer, though I've never smoked. I like to be the exception to the rule. Exactly. Griffin says the cancer is stage one. Doctors are optimistic it has not spread. Lung cancer in non-smokers is not uncommon. In the U.S., about 10 to 20 percent of lung cancers occur in people who have never smoked or smoked fewer than 100 cigarettes in their lifetime. Other famous non-smokers who developed lung cancer, Donna Summer, Andy Kaufman, and Dustin Diamond. Comedian Joy Behar pointing out Monday on The View that doing stand-up in smoky bars early in her career could have contributed. She was subjected to a lot of secondhand smoke, as were all of us comedians. I mean, we used to be on stage and, we, you know, there was always a joke, what are we, electing a pope? Because there was so much smoke in the room or it felt like downtown Beijing, you know? For Griffin, early detection hopefully means a quick surgery without chemo or radiation. And she's optimistic that she'll survive this setback. So what does the next chapter look like post-surgery you? You know, you? the beauty is I, like, don't worry about that as much anymore, which is, by the way, an exercise. It's That's, work. You know, you don't plan a tour a week in advance. You plan it months or years in advance. So what I'm learning is, you know, not to sound cocky, but I think at this stage of the game, I think people know who I am. And I think it's okay for me to go, you know what, I'm going to see what comes in. I think I'm a survivor is what I, I, I think, whether I like it or not, I think I'm a resilient survivor. That is for sure. Let's talk about this now with Dr. Jan Ashton. So not a smoker. Yeah. What are the other risk factors? George, if people remember one set of things from Kathy Griffin's announcement, it's this is the number one cancer killer of men and women in this country. 15 to 20 percent of lung cancers occur in people who never smoked. And there is a screening test. It's a low dose CAT scan. If you have a history of smoking or if you're a current heavy smoker, I think the important thing for risk factors, secondhand smoke is a major risk factor. So is radon gas. But now, she said she was feeling some joint pain. You normally wouldn't associate that no. with lung cancer. So what are the warning signs? So true, true, and unrelated. I'm sure she was feeling joint pain. That's not one of the classic warning signs or symptoms. If you take a look at this list, they run through the gamut. Fatigue, coughing, particularly coughing up blood, chest pain that doesn't go away after one to two weeks, wheezing, shortness of breath. Any of these warning signs or symptoms, whether you're a smoker or not, you want to see a medical provider and trust your body, George. That's the bottom line here. But Hopefully, good news for her, stage one. Jen Ashton, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.